All right, let's get it started then. So this is the next long play. I put five up to vote, and the vote was just the order that we do them, because I dictated all five of them. I just wanted to play through a bunch of games that I either wanted a nostalgia trip on or thought they looked interesting. This is definitely the latter. It's Void Stranger. I've never played it before. I watched Yagamoth himself play this game for about five minutes, and I thought, you know what? I'm sold. It looked interesting, and it looked like it had something below the surface, so I wanted to go and see it for myself rather than be spoiled. So it's a Sokoban puzzler game. I'm going to be moving around in a grid, probably pushing blocks, removing blocks, placing blocks. It's going to be a lot of blocks and a whole lot of puzzling. At least that's what I understand, and I might not understand much. English or Suomi? Hmm, no, <laughs> let's not cripple ourselves from the onset. Would you like to change your settings? No, because I think I've already changed my settings, and all is well. Are you ready? What if I say no? Would you like to change your settings? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I thought it would break some fourth wall there. Never mind. Let's get going then. Surely a trivial challenge for the Puzzle Master. Well, if you find the Puzzle Master, let me know. It sure ain't me. Uh, then again, I believe tomorrow... I'm going to have to get my try-hard trousers on because past Jake put Nancy Drew on the schedule and legendary Marvin made a very compelling argument for us to run the secret of Shadow Ranch as our game. It was hard to think of an Easter-themed Nancy Drew game, but as he said, collecting sticks is a lot like collecting eggs. No, Shadow Ranch was not great, Red 2. I think on our tier list, it was the second lowest tier. I bet it ranks pretty highly on Nancy Drew fan... What was that Nancy Drew site called? Senior Detectives, I think. <laughs> yeah, I also laughed a lot at the stick searching. Oh, man. Never have I laughed so much in my life as watching the Nancy Drew marathon. And it was a whole month of laughing at people. And that's the strongest kind of laughing. So holy moly, these graphics are really, really good. But this must be a higher resolution than the Game Boy by a long way. I don't know the exact resolution of the Game Boy, but I bet Ninja does. Sassy Detective. Thank you, Marv. I can't believe I've forgotten it was sassy. All right. Let's get it underway then. Does that say that we have seven hit points or one? I don't know. No music, no nothing, but there is a mural here. What could it all mean? Is this loss? Seems like a futile effort to decipher, so let's get moving and let's get our goodies. Alright, Ninja tells me that it's four Game Boys in a trench coat, because the Game Boy is 160 by 144. Amazing what they could put into so little. Something is wrong. Alright, so... I can remove blocks, and I can place blocks. Now you know as much as I do about this game. Unless you already know all about it, in which case, let's not have spoilers, please. As I understand it, I'm going to have to solve puzzles on each floor and work my way down. And there's a step counter and a V counter? Also, steps increment when I bash against something. You've acquired a locust. Ah, uh, okay. Sorax the Mantis, Locar's locust. It looks rather tasty. Okay, I was talking about eating bugs previous. We have a boulder here, can't seem to do anything with it. As I understand, my only action button is A, but hang on, I've got start. This doesn't give me much. Okay, so very limited controls then. Doesn't look like I can grab things and move them. Even fewer controls than the original Game Boy. At least that had a D-boy starts, uh, D-pad start select A and B. So, let's just remove our floor and make ourselves a passageway over, grab all of the goodies. Okay, are locusts the only thing we collect? Hmm, 
intriguing. What can be done with this boulder? No idea. It's the Game Boy sound? Yeah, it certainly sounds like a Game Boy, doesn't it? We have some strange thing in the way here. It does move when we bash it, but that's all we can tell so far. I think I can see an easy way to get to the stairs, but surely I want more than that. I want that treasure chest. Well, I say an easy way to the stairs. The fact that you have to move when you turn makes things more than a little awkward for movement. For example, I cannot grab the block above me because if I turn up, boop, I've moved there already. It's funny because when we very started the game, we could have free movement. Hmm. Alright, our locust addiction will know no satiation. Does the V go up when you collect floor? It's not gone up at all. Oh, oh, you're right, it does go up. But it's always going back to... Oh, I see, I see. Ah, and it steps in V for each floor. Mm, fascinating. And treasure chests can only be opened from the front. Okay. What would Brian Boitana do in this situation? I need to make my way over to this part here. Hey, I am the Locust Master. As a kickle cubicle master, there's no way this game was ever going to defeat me. So I assume I need to throw you down into the hole. Hey, that's someone else's problem now. The main character used strength. Alright, I wonder if this is one of those situations where you can... Yeah, you could softlock yourself here, surely. Maybe not so surely. I'm trying to think of a way to push two boulders over to the right. But why even think about screwing myself over when I could not? What about you, though? I don't know if I can push things down the stairway. Ah, uh, okay. But fortunately, we can move you off, right? Yeah, there we go. We are swole. Alright, fit new. Now, at a glance, this doesn't look all that great, right? Sokoban game for what seems to be more than, well, enough to have triple figures on the floor counter. But, my gamer instincts were screaming out to me saying, there's something more to this game. So I'm going to see exactly how much more there is to this game. And my gamer instincts are very finely honed. Alright, down you go, go. What about this, though? How do I even get over there when I can't look up from here? Well, I make it so that I can look up from there. square to work with is always a great start. I can only take one square, right? Yeah, we just go bleh if we try to take additional flooring. I played a game just like this. What was it? Well, not just like this. It was 2D on a different plane. But you were just picking up blocks and putting them back down. I think it was an NES game. Ooh, I'm not good at this. Hmm. I really like the music so far, though, as well. If it is somehow not loud enough for you right now, do let me know, because everybody should be hearing this. There's a strange gleaming thing at the top. It seems to say, step on me. Alright, alright, how are we cutting the mustard here? We have options, we have a lot of options. Which one do we like the most? This one. Maybe not this one. I'm curious about this, though. 
Is that doing anything? Can I take it? Ooh! I got a thing! I don't know what use the thing is. But I also think that I'm out of options here. I'm gonna block myself off from this. Hmm. Well, surely we don't need every locust in existence. Thought occurs. I wonder if there's something that could be done. Uh, oh, hang on, I've already got one of these. What if I were to... Start removing some of you like so. Hmm. Well, sadly, I can't take the floor out from under one of them, so too bad. Or can we move two of these at once? We're not that small. Yeah, with no way to get around that, I reckon I just cannot grab that chest. Hopefully it doesn't bite us in the bum later. But what was that? We started sparkling and stuff. And you increment movement every time I move. We're turning into Adventures of Lolo now. If I had to guess, and I do, I need to kill you. Oh, no, but I can trap you. Fascinating. Give me the locust. Interesting, so you could technically just leave the level without doing anything. I wonder why. I think there's a lot of things we need to puzzle out in this game. What is the story with that grub? How is it any different from the other thing? I'm assuming that's a grub. Could be a writhing, horrible mask. There's something that looks like a face on the front. A humanoid face. Maybe the grubs do fall through uh, the holes that I make. Nope. No, they don't, they don't give two hoots either. Okay. Mm and I can dodge them like so. All is well then. You stay away, you go away. I'm having this. Whatever this is. What is the meaning of these jewels? There's no kind of indication of things that we've grabbed, right? Well, we have memories. What do we remember? Ah, looks like it's a currency to unlock my memories. Well, let's find out. What do we know? We recall looking like a Christmas tree, or maybe we're the taller one. Hmm, what could it all mean? You're in for quite the right. See, that's what I thought, Z Orlando. I'm completely blind here, but my gamer senses were tingling when I saw this game, and I knew this had more than meets the eye, and I wanted to find out just how much. Well, it's a long play. I do intend on beating the game. with you. I'm gonna make ourselves some options, that's what. Do I even have the time to- oh! Crumbs, right. So that's what our little locusts do. They bring us back to life. Well, how about that? I was under the clearly mistaken impression- uh oh, right. Um, don't have the time to grab you. If I do grab you, it's going to move there, and then we're going to kissy-kissy, which is not good. And I can't turn down and grab you either, so the obvious thing to do, and it is very obvious, of course, is to make this path slightly longer, so that I can go and grab that. Yoink! Give me back my memories game. 
hit by boulder. Oh, boy! Let's not tuck ourselves into grim situations like that, shall we? I think that's exactly what I've gone and done. Unless... Hop. Hop. Uh, no. This is exactly what I've gone and done. Time to get nibbled. So perhaps one doesn't need these locusts at all if one simply gets good. I want my memories back, though. But how? I need to approach you from below, meaning that I need to have a block right below me. How do I even position myself to do that? I need to go from where I'm standing and plonk, plonk one right there. Let's just steal this block, it's of little consequence. Thump. Don't mind me, sunshine, just stealing my memories back. Curious, I think I'll skip this one and play it myself so Jake doesn't spoil it for me. That's what I recommend. If ever you can find an excuse to not watch my streams, take it. Right, you gonna turn around? No. But you will turn around there, and that gives me ample opportunity to leg it. Let's get you out of the way. It's probably an invitation to create a shortcut for myself there. Plonk. No hidden memories. Then on we go. What is this, though? Hmm. Just a bog-standard move thing around thing. This proves problematic. How do I get up there? I can't think of a way that doesn't leave me in a poor, poor situation. Because I move there, I grab it, that thing is completely chasing me. saying it can't be done. Maybe I can fool it into it now. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. It's a bust of King Louis XIV. It looks like he's got a great big smile on his face. He's living the dream. Yeah, I don't see a way of getting that without dying horribly. But maybe sometimes one just has to die horribly. Unless... Oh, yeah! You acquired nothing. No, I acquired knowledge. The most powerful thing. Well, now, what do we do here? First things first, I need you out of the way. What am I to do here? I want another block right in front of me right now, so... Take you, move you there. Take you. Move you there. Grab you. And now it is time to... Vamoose. What is the significance of you? Perhaps I'll never know. Alright, now we are the owner of three jewel-like things. One more and we get another memory. But what does it all mean? <laughs> I don't know. looking foe in my way here. Let's take care of that, shall we? Need to do that just so you get away. And then... 
We race through dramatically. I'm not missing anything here. No, no chests, no jewels. No problem. Yeah, you gotta go, though. Can I get to there? I'm looking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, I'd feel a bit more comfortable if I were moving in here right there. See ya. Are you excited about Frostpunk 2? That's a bit of a loaded question, wouldn't you say? Excited about it, huh? It's a difficult game to get excited for. It's been under development for such a long time, and I haven't seen anything in the... Um, oh, hold that thought. Over there, down, nothing to grab. No, no, there we go. I haven't seen anything in the trailers that has made me go, oh, yes! But then we haven't really seen anything in the trailers. What can you tell me about Frostpunk 2 based on the trailers? Because I couldn't tell you anything. Alright, let's grab ourselves a memory. I do worry that the lessons that 11-Bit took away from Frostpunk 1 was that they are amazing writers and storytellers. And that they are, uh, they're gonna do their ham-fisted delivery of really old, tired tropes. Okay, so maybe we were the Christmas tree-haired lassie. And we really like drawing pictures. Okay, well, go for it. They've always been full of themselves in the writing bit. Oh yeah, what uh, playing... What was that god-awful game I was playing? Um, this War of Mine really highlighted that. Right. I don't like this thing being here, but I have no options but to move it left or right. And don't think I want it over to the left. Why would I? But there is no way to navigate through those pesky grubs. Nanata? Mm. I mean, I can move here, but then the other guy's just in my way. I can't go into you. Can make good my escape, of course. Hmm. I feel like I'm mechanically missing something here. Can't think of anything I can push to destroy the grubs. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I think that as well, Frozen Kaiser. Frostpunk 1 was an accidentally amazing game. Especially since the, the last DLC they made for it uh, on the edge was pretty bad. What a bizarre looking level. What's the meaning of this? Oh. There's two levels in a row that I feel like I don't have all the information. I might have to grab Aristocrat's uh, puzzle definition at some point during this game. I have a feeling it's going to be of vital import. Right, it looks like this is just a legget level. I don't like the positioning here, actually. This is, this is the position that I want to be in, but I want to have the block to my hand. And there's no way to deposit blocks if I pick them up from here. There's nowhere to put them. However, what I could do is tell you to suck a fat one and move that over there. Yeah, 
eat that. And now it doesn't really matter if these guys can get free. Because I'm going places. Actually, poor choice of it. Clever people. Good thing I'm so clever. Right, now I want you up top. Oh, but no, I need the extra positioning to go down, don't I? That's right, I do. So actually, I want you guys trapped up top. Wrong kind of trapped. There we go, give me my juicy locust. Too close. Alright, easy money. What do we have here? Am I meant to save you? I'm all about helping people. Please don't kill me. I don't plan on it. I wasn't murder hoboing my way through this war of mine. I'm not murder hoboing here. I don't think I killed anyone in that game. Oh god! Oh, ooh, okay. My intentions were pure. But, killing you did get me a valuable memory. And sadly, I need an additional four to get my next one. Lone birch. Ooh, scrape off the birch bark. Since you've been traveling for quite some time already, would you like to rest for now? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> now it just closes the whole game. Uh, okay. It's cute when a game does that precisely once. Oh, oh, but it... This is different. Is this the dream? Why did it feel the need to close the game for this? Thank heavens you've arrived, Lazy Grey. The princess is out of control. Do something. Hurry. Okay. Who's the princess? Where's the princess? There's a menacing air. Wait, that was a door? Mm hmm. Well, what am I to make of this? Let's shed some light on the situation. Okay, not what I signed up for.
What is going on here? I suspect I need to memorize that pattern and then do an attack and defend routine to win that? Maybe. Maybe not. So I was suspecting this game ran deeper than it let on. This was not what I was expecting. But surely, surely this is just a brief interim between the breathtaking puzzles. Maybe I shouldn't rest at birch trees. This is anti-birch bark tree uh, tea. Imagining the smell, can we can we get a move on? Who <laughs> had visual novel on their bingo card? That's good. Right, I need to probably move you around. But wait, if I push you, I just block off the stairway, which is bad. Can this be moved? Should this be moved? Well, I've moved it now. Mm -hmm. Kind of wanted to see what was behind this. See that uh, wall behind it looks awfully suspicious. But I've gone and done it now. Bye bye. Why am I doing any of this? Why don't I just take the stairs? Oh cool, she turns her head! How much is she going to turn that? Could I just ignore you and move on? Nah, where's the fun in that? Hello! Trying to talk to you. There we go. Is that tail wagging faster and faster? No, no, it just calms down after a wee while. What is the meaning of this? what our purpose here is. 
Just like dungeon munchies, we are presented without context. Ah, here we go. We're looking for a young woman. Ah, that must be the princess, right? So we're not the wee lassie. It must be the matron. Oh, hey, Yagamoth. Uh, like I said, I wanted to check it out myself, and so we do. Oh, these are eggs. Hmm. Hope she doesn't begrudge me for destroying so many of them. She's having us on. Some floors have more than one exit. But we can't go back the ways on the floors. We don't seem to be able to go up. Mm -hmm. They're hidden for void lords. No, are you a void lord? Since that exit is a bit cramped for me, I remain here. Might take a moment, and I wouldn't want to hold you for too long. Yeah, I don't really have that much time. Let's go. Hmm. You did end up finishing this game, right, Yaga? Oh, down you go. And I think that's the lassie's tail there. I'm led to believe, at least. Perhaps it was a bit of a hint about the multiple exits thing. But I don't see another way out, and then that smiling face of King Louis is still looking at me. I believe I completed as much as there was to complete, but I'm not sure I can be certain of that. Ooh, imposing. Right, this looks like stuff that's going to break if I walk over it. And as is often the case, I'm completely right. So, does that mean this is going to break if I try and take the treasure? I think that it will. So let's break it first. And try and come up with better solutions to this problem. Uh, although I might have scuffered myself a bit there though, because now I can't create a bridge over here. Maybe I should have used the glass a bit better. Yeah, I should have left the glass so that I could walk up and over to the right from here. And there's no redo this button, is there? No. Well, why worry about it? So far, they have just been locusts. But hang on, what am I to do here? Maybe it doesn't break. If you... Test a theory then. If I stand on you and place a block, am I going to fall to my death? No, okay, well, I have made a terrible miscalculation. I thought that I would die if I stayed on it. But now I know. Alright, I see it all. Yeah, that's what I should have done prior. Miscalculation, exactly. What's the story here then? I'm gonna go up, left, down, grab. Or maybe just left. No, I have to go up, left, down, grab. And then down and around. Hmm. Cool music.
trying to draw a pattern through here that gets me out of this thing very much alive. Up, left, left, down, right, grab that block. Maybe I can't have both. But if I just take a route out to the right, maybe I can. There should be enough blocks there to assemble a route back. However, I wouldn't be able to turn up or down from there, and that's a problem. Nothing saying I have to hold on to this, so I could put it right back. Then I would be able to go back up. Oh, hold on, now I can't move out to the right. Mm hmm? I believe I've made a terrible miscalculation again. I think I'm completely scuppered there. Whee! desperately to think of a way to grab both the chest and the flickering floor thing, although if I can only choose one I'll take the flickering floor thing. <laughs> Perhaps I leave the flashy floor thing to last and focus more on grabbing the piece that I start on. I could go right, up, left, left. Or I could just go up and around and grab the floor piece and make my way back down and around. And then I should be able to go back, up, down, grab the flashy bit and be done and get my life back. Should be just enough blocks for this. Well, no problem, I can just grab these and go whoop-de-doodle. Easy money. I found the soundtrack! Excellent. I, there was an option to buy the game with the- Oh! Whoa! I can pick up glass! What is this? I suppose I should have tried that the moment I saw glass, but I didn't. Hmm. Okay. Busy looking level. Perhaps the first thing to do is clear that, because it's the most out of the way thing. Make our way over. Could I take the glass and move that? That glass seems less useful than just a block there. Over there. Okay. Oh, scuppered it. Don't know why I thought I could turn up, but I cannot. Sorry, Lassie. Down you go. All this time I thought Jake was going to play Void Bastards! This is still a nice game. I don't think I even picked up Void Bastards, but uh, heaven help me, I can't remember much of it.
perhaps what I want to do is create as much good flooring as I can, and I've just got to mess that up. Yep. Too bad. Chewing my way through all those locusts, though. Hmm. Wonder what happens when I run out. And at this rate, I'm going to be running out. Trying to make a significantly stronger bridge along here. Might as well get my nothing back. Yay! <laughs> what a horrifying looking face though. Alright, there we go, much stronger. Still seeing all those tail images around the side here. Hmm. Let's hope it's just the art style that's retro and not the game over. Ooh, uh, starting again from the very start would be brutal indeed. And off you go. Hum. Well, nothing for it but to move forward. But fit from here. Take you, but what does that even achieve? Not a whole lot of much. It's a straight run to the exit, that much is for sure, but I'm thinking what else could a man do here? Could I take a square with me? Mm, no. Did I have an option to take one with me? Maybe. time here. It's not used to working, period. Alright, here's my brilliant idea. I'm gonna take you It's okay, you, you can tell me, Jake, that was brilliant. I hadn't thought of that. I thought it was impossible, Jake. How are you so smart? How did your brain not constantly hurt? Okay. Hmm. So, time to say it. All you meaty haters in the community, this is meaty right here. I think you are imagining enemies in your head, Ninjin, and then fighting your war against them. Right, what are we to do here? I certainly want that chest. Oh, you monsters! You break glass as well. Perhaps I should have expected that. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't. Right, give me my locust. Uh oh. Potentially big mistakes to be made here. What do I do? If I go left, up and around, I'm dead. If I go down, back up, I'm dead. But if I go down and left, I'm stuck. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal this and then go up. Da, 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 da. Ooh. 
Oh wow, I can bump that and keep moving? Well, this changes things. Uh-oh, this changes nothing. to give myself a more solid foundation when dealing with you. Especially since I can just do this now. See ya. Mm -hmm. Show some respect, Jake. You're talking to a world-class windmill joust. <laughs> oh, surely he's not that bad. Right. Seems I have little choice but to grab some glass and then make a break for it. Do I need to grab anything on my way out? Do I even have the wherewithal to grab anything on the way out? I think I can. I think I can go left, grab, down, right, down. But what does having that glass achieve for me? Absolutely nothing. No, this is okay. Don't make any sudden movements. It's like that scene in, in Jurassic Park, maybe? There we go. The smiling face of King Louis is glowing, indicating that there's a memory shard underneath there. So what are my options? If I simply leg it over to him, I am scuppered. But I might be able to do some jiggery pokery. Get out of here. And what have you? make life a little complicated for me. Um, but I can do the same routine up on the top as long as I grab a block. And I have a block. So the other thing I need to make sure is that you don't catch me. You let it catch you. Easy money. One of my favorite kinds of money. Now show me my memories. Oh no, I'm one shard short. See, I thought we were a little girl here, but no, we are probably the matron. Explains the hair colors. So do you chase me? Yes! Yes, you do. Cool. Well, I'm glad the level taught us that in a safe environment. Does that mean I could make you fall down a hole? Yeah. Cruel. Get out of here. Ah, but perhaps this boulder blocks your view of me. Yes, indeed. This is the textbook brilliant way to teach game mechanics. I didn't need a little screen coming up saying, Whoa, watch your step, we missy. These nasty sons of guns will get you if they spy you in their view. But boulders can block it. Right, what am I doing with you? Let's get you out of my way first and foremost. Now... I think I see it all. I go right across the glass, break the last bit of glass on the farthest right, turn back, place down normal block. Mm, but then all I can do is... No, I can just run straight down. All is well then. Wonk. Oh, right, <laughs> let's not forget the locust. 
my missed opportunity senses are now tingling. I got a lot of different senses, but I'm too far going for it. I think maybe over to the right, perhaps there's some kind of passage beyond. Use that wet brain, Jake. We have all the information we need. It's got so many folds by now, though. Practically chicken skin up there. Right. Is this trying to tell me something about glass and boulders? Wow, the glass can... Oh, you rotter! I wanted to block your vision using that boulder. Now you're going to cause all sorts of problems for me. Because you also break the glass. How can this be? How could I have made such a nearsighted decision? Alright, do we have any way to rectify this? He is destroying everything I hold dear. I'm thinking... I lure the fool down to a calamitous death. And that will allow me to do a whole lot of not much, sadly. Mm, I can't make a square, can I? Or can I? There we go, got a square. Square is the building block of any Sokoban solution. Here's what I'm going to be saying. Still minorly determined to get my hands on that woven locus, the memory shard. We haven't missed a single one so far, unless I am mistaken, which I could well be. I'm not the sharpest pack of butter. But hang on, how do we take care of that boulder? cannot push it to the uh, to the right, it'll block the exit. Of course we could then push it up or down, but do we have the wherewithal uh, for doing that? Perhaps not. But perhaps... Perhaps, per chance, we might. because I think I could make a square here. Uh-oh, I needed that. I needed that. Not all hope is lost. <laughs> He's good. He's almost too good. Wait a second. What about the, the shiny thing? Maybe there wasn't a memory shard there. Maybe it was just saying this glass is going to break. Could such a thing be true? That's all it is? Huh, okay. Well, boy, do I have egg on my face. Well, not quite. We've learnt. That's the shiny thing right there. Alright. I want that. Obviously. We're in problem town now, though. Since I have glass, I can't pick up that glass. So mayhaps I can do this. Oh boy, this game's great at making me feel really intelligent. 
Now that, again, that shining just means glass is about to break. Nothing to worry about. Probably. This is fine. Is it though? Right, up, left, grab, up, left. The deposit does not get me the shiny. And I want the shiny thing. Hmm. But there are a few other moves that I can make. At the very least, I have to do this. Try this again to get it. Actually, what I should do is see what happens when that breaks. Hold on, did I grab it? It did suddenly give me the wee thing down in the bottom left. Didn't look like I grabbed it, but it is showing it there now. Oh, okay. You need only break the glass to get it. Hmm, well that's cool. Now I can figure out more of the memory is locked away. Someone once said this about designing a golf course. You want it to seem really hard, but actually play easy. Make other players feel good about themselves. That's like making a game. You want the player to win, but think that they were about to lose. Right, what are we looking at here? Out of here. Oh, that was not a problem. That means I can just go and grab that chest and move over to the left. Maybe. Yoink. Hmm. But do I want to move back over to the left? Could cause me problems if I do. Then again, I might be causing myself problems right now. You get out of here. So give me that block, could be very useful. I want to head up and around, up, left, left, down, push this block out of the way. There's nothing to grab though, is there? I mean, how could this possibly be hard? You get out of here. You get out of there and just... Oh, that was glass! Well, you might think you have me, game, but you far from have me. There we go. I should have looked for the glittering look. That means there's glass under you. Keep overlooking that. I should get better at that. Right. Damn, I was never any good at checkers. Hmm. Right, let's get rid of you. Better keep in mind that I'm still holding onto glass. That could be a problem. Already looks like a problem. It is a problem. A sizable problem.
Whew, okay. We're practically fine. If I can just get rid of that guy. What am I to do? The solution to all my problems might not be right down grab. But it might be right down gra- oh, crumbs. to have scuppered myself. Yeah, there, there's nowhere I can go that doesn't spell certain doom. Okay. Where to work with just seems like such a boon. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. That should open up a lot of options for me. Like getting out of this stage. And yeah, now I can just leg it. There's nothing to grab. Bye bye. It was from Sim Golf, a really good older game. I'm not into golf, which might be surprising considering I'm Scottish. Half of Scotland is just golf courses. Right, what are we looking at here? If I go right and up, I'm just deed. But what if I didn't? Let's grab you. That should actually give me everything that I need. Because I need only... Whoa, now. It's nice that the game gives you a bit of whoa leeway time to come back and undo your mistake. What do I do about you? I can't grab you from here. Such a thing cannot be done. Hmm. What am I missing here? There is no way to be here or here, looking left or looking right. I doubt I can just place this on top of the stairways. Hmm. <gasps> we can steal the stairs! Well now. This is a game changer. Now the master of her own destiny. Okay. Why would I ever want this boulder? Get out of here. I, I have tried stealing boulders before. I'm quite certain that we cannot do that. I'm going to take this just in case I can make use of it. For example, I may want to go and grab one of those starting panels, yoink. And now I can just make my way to an easy victory, surely. Steady now, don't get ahead of yourself. Hmm, might have gotten ahead of myself. No, this is fine. I can just go up and over. <laughs> but I can steal the stairs! That's so cool. Okay. This should have been a long play race so that I could use my vast lobes and destroy somebody else's self-esteem. Oh well. Looks like I want to grab this, run all the way to the right, and then down, place, push, but then I'm stuck. Unless I down, place, move back, up, 
come back and re-grab. I think that would work. It does not work. But what if it did work? It doesn't work. Fooey. Good thing these crickets are so delicious. Alright, alternative idea. Let's take this route. What does this achieve for me? Well, I can spare that glass for some reason. And I guess this gets you out of my way, which might be good or bad. Sure, I want to waste this glass. Need to step on something to get back here, though. Uh, you get out of here. Hmm. I shouldn't have done that. I should have lured him up here to get off the glass. Then I could have just gone down and around on the glass. Can I undo this grievous error? Get rid of you for one. I think I see a solution. It's not a very good one, but it's something. Whew. Okay, I rescued that one. Barely. Is this the solution is obvious but it's obviously too obvious I'm not buying it I'm taking this exit instead we did that do anything? I don't know. Maybe. I was not in the mood for being bamboozled. Get out of here. Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay, new things. Lots of new things. What looks to be a very angry lady, a button, and a karmic symbol, which isn't a button. Or maybe it is. Maybe only boulders can press buttons. <sighs> How about that? Are you going to unpress that button, though? Ah, I can press the button. I can steal the button. feeling that stealing the button is going to be very important. So let's move this out of the way. Let's talk to you. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. What the hell? She's become cautious of you. Well, maybe you should have. Be gone. I wonder if that's the same lassie from before. Let's get out of you. Steal the button. Place the button here, activate button, and vamos. Alone, Birch. Oh man, do we really want to take a rest here? I guess it would be unfair not to get the rich lore of the game. Is it going to close the game on me again? Yes, it, I wish games wouldn't do this. Right. You get one shot at this. Would you even call it meta? I don't know, but... Also, for some reason, I have the achievement in this game three times. This game only has one achievement called Pendant. And I just got it three times today for some reason. This is preposterous. Okay, well, uh, just to brace myself for this one, I'm going to take a, sh uh, qu uh, a short water break. I'll be back momentarily.
Nah, Baron, I drink tons of water every day. A sip of water redeems wouldn't do it for me. Also, I would be very not interested in that. It's like that hydration bot. Better believe that thing got banned on site. I don't need babying like that. This princess might, though. Just when I thought that Dungeon Munchies was going to be the most confusing long play of late, I still have no idea what's going on. But that's okay, I'm here to solve puzzles, and puzzles I shall so Wait a minute, this is the same as the first level. Ah, uh, perhaps not. The Tetris pieces are looking a little, dif a little different. That right piece could slot into that left, pe uh, left piece, it would be a good fit even. For the N64. Now there was a Tetris game. What the hell are you? Mm -hmm. 
Maybe I need to come around and speak to you. This has anything to do with Snake Lady. Music is uh, turning pretty badass and is taking quite the turn. I like it. Okay, I, I don't seem to be able to interact with this thing whatsoever. What if I stole the stairway? Okay. Right next to the exit, but there's something there. Perhaps I shouldn't have done that, after all. Hey, hey, there's a chest there, but it's already empty. What am I to do with an empty chest? What can even be done here? Couldn't I steal the stairway and move it somewhere more convenient? So I want to steal that without causing too much of a fuss. There we go. So what's the deal with the empty chest? Just telling me it's empty, I see. Well, let's get you out of the way, shall we? Uh, maybe... Maybe let's not leave that too inaccessible. as well. Not sure what that was trying to teach me, if anything. Oh, you, the, the, the music's turning real sinister. I love it. Okay, they just charge. Works for me, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, I have little choice but to have you chase me over here, and I have a feeling that's going to do bad things for me. I still have a feeling it's going to do bad things for me. You're going to charge up and cane me now, aren't you? Oh, heavens, yes. Goodbye, cruel world. Okay, still not sure I really understand what they do. I think they just keep charging until they hit something. So perhaps I want you away from there. That way you're not going to chase me down here. Then you just go and charge into that corner. We shall acquire nothing. And then we get you back up here so I can steal this. I just say bye bye. Four memories, eight to unlock the next. I think I not so it would get eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty-four. Mm. Speaks to the size of the game? I don't know. Alright, what is this doing for me? That's the exit, so I probably need you to stay on top of that. Something's glistening underneath you. What's with all the empty chests, though? What could it all mean? I feel that there is still a lot being held from me in all of this. You go and hit that for me. Also, stay. Ah, but that is a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you move elsewhere. But hang on, I need you to activate the thingamajigger. First and foremost, I should make sure I grab that. So you just move up there, 
Let me just take this. Hmm. Easy. Or is it? How do I then get to you? Ah, but of course. We fool you and then huzzah! Too smart for this game. That's my problem. Can I take this? Yes. Do I want this? Maybe. Worth noting that I can move the button as well, but if there's no way to place it, that's no good for me. So I guess we just manipulate you. This is a lot like Kickle Cubicle, actually. Which is cool. I like Kickle, uh, Kickle Cubicle. Rather a lot, I'd even say. What am I doing here? Nothing right, that's for sure. Oh, we can't see past these. Ah, okay. Well then, you fool. Hit that for me. Oh, uh, why did I do that? I wanted to have a closer look at that boulder, and I completely forgot that my friend here would start moving around like mad. Have I gone and scuppered myself by doing this? No, surely not. There we go. Or do we? Ooh, or do we? Because now he's going to move off of it. Ah. The pains that come with solving a puzzle and then unsolving it for yourself. There we go. Let's never speak of that room again. Mm, you're going to bust that glass, which is probably not good for me. to need to move some things. Is that a problem though? Because why don't I just have you come over here and I steal that and you're just stuck there and I'm gone. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of glass breaking. very well. Just love the sinister music. What does it all mean, though? Now there's a new symbol. What does that mean? Oh, it just meant here be the exit. Okay. Get behind that. Oh, I've made a boo-boo. But, maybe I can undo the boo-boo by legging it. That was bad. But maybe... I can still make good my escape.
No, no, I cannot. Or can I? There yet exists hope for man. But I really want that cricket. I really want that cricket. Okay, now I might have really scuppered myself. Actually, no, because I can just go here, and out I go. Giant brain in effect yet again. Mm. Secret! Hang on, that didn't show anything. How was I meant to know that was a secret? I just wanted that so I could place it on the block in the way here. Or the hole in the way here, rather. Mm -hmm. Now I reckon I just want you to chase me all the way back to that. And all is well. If this game has secrets like that, that leaves me a little trepidatious because there was nothing indicating that that was a secret. Nothing I could tell, at least. What other secrets are there? Dare I even ask? your story. I could just charge directly to the right and I'd be safe. But there's bound to be more to it than that. Maybe not. Maybe I really should have. <laughs> okay. Secrets. Wouldn't be much of a secret if they told you. Uh, but what about the aristocrats' knowledge about what is and is not a puzzle? I mean, this is suspicious. Is there a secret here? Or here? an idea. And it's a pretty good idea. What if I just... Well, I'll take my cricket first. What if I just hit this and go down here? Ah! I am too intelligent for this game, man. Do secrets count as puzzles? I would say no, Salix. Euristo might argue the secret is not a... Oh, okay, does anybody have Euristo's... Uh, I, I, I hesitate to call it a rant, because it's not a rant, it is very just and correct. But Euristo's uh, epiphany on puzzles, because I would love to listen to it again with everybody. Maybe some people that haven't heard it yet. Is that really it, Red 2? You, you are correct. You are absolutely correct. I have. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm not sure that's loud enough compared to the game. Game, you be quiet. We're going to listen to Eurista. 
you, you are correct. You are absolutely correct. I have all the information that I need right here. Because, you see, it wouldn't be a puzzle, right, if they didn't give you the information that you needed. So, um, you know, by definition, I would, I would have to have all the information that I needed in order to complete the puzzle, right? That, that, is, that is necessarily true for it to be a puzzle. <laughs> All right, Max? But that isn't a helpful thing to say because I know that I have the information. It's taking the information that is on there and using it in a way that arrives at the conclusion that I need to arrive at. That's the, that's the part. You could, you could almost say that that is the puzzle. <laughs> You know, that is the part where, that is where the puzzle happens. That's where the magic happens, right? <laughs> I know all the information is there. <laughs> I'm aware of that. Now we need to use the information in order to arrive at the correct outcome. So you, you are correct. You are absolutely correct. I okay, right. So the question is, do we have all the information we need for those mysterious puzzle pieces? I don't think we do, so they're not puzzles. Thank you, Eurysto, for clearing everything up. If you missed the context on that one, that is from the Nancy Drew Marathon, where Euristocrat, a.k.a. True Leveler, a.k.a. Jeremy Corbin, was playing Nancy Drew and the secrets of Castle Malloy. Right, I'm curious about this thing. It doesn't seem to be a monster. Can I talk to... Oh, oh, I didn't mean to push you. He doesn't seem to be care, uh, care about being pushed around. Well, I don't want to hurt you, but I've gone and pushed you right in the way of absolutely everything. However, I will do my best, my level best, to save you. I didn't save the others, but I'll try and save you. Who baited him into that? It was Max. See, Eurysta, I'm pretty sure Eurysta was trying to call Max an asshole. And rightfully so, because there's nothing quite like trying to solve a puzzle, and you're stuck, and someone just goes, Oh, you, you have all the pieces you need, right? Oh, it's so simple, I can see. It's like, that doesn't help you arrive at the conclusion. But I think halfway through trying to say that, Eurysta was like, Oh, I don't, I don't want to sound too mad, right? That's how you really lose it, Nancy Drew. So instead he teaches us a thing or two about what is and is not a puzzle. Oh, I probably should not have put you over there. It's okay, I can I can repair. I thought you might be able to charge into and break the smiling picture of Louie there, but no. I need a setup where I can... There we go. Wait, isn't that very bad for me? Yeah, probably is. I have a significantly better idea. Watch this amazingly better idea in play. The idea was better, it's no longer better. It's better again. better. Well, you can see what I'm trying to do, but I'm failing at it miserably. There we go. Gosh, why was that so hard? Now, where are the secret pieces? Yeah, screw it. There must be more to life. Well, that's just suicide. I have the three, I can move along here nice and easily. 
but what if I had more than three, huh? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um, might not be about what I like, though. I can just get you off there and go in. But, uh, I'm seeing seeing possible secrets everywhere. It's not healthy. Easy now, that does me no good. Do I want you out of the way? Oh, I want that secret. It's just that easy. Are we really on the 74th floor? Doesn't feel like I've solved 74 puzzles, but... I want that, but going for the chest could get me killed. It is going to... Oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, what do you think of that? I'm guessing. Uh, mm, but what if? If I go around here, what does this achieve for me? I block that off, I go around, I grab that, I put in the bibbly boop. But then I am stuck. So if I go left, 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 I've got him busted everything for myself. But what if I don't bust everything for myself? What if, instead of making a mess of the whole situation, I create new opportunities? There we go. Alright, come on, have a go. Okay. these two things here are trying to achieve. Don't know what I'm trying to achieve by breaking this immediately. At least I can steal that block. And as long as you've got three in a row, you can at least move along the ways. Oh, I almost missed the, the bull thing at the top left. Sure, I can have him hit that thing, but how do I get out of here now? My options are few, but not nil. gonna break a lot of this, so I need to make good my escape fast. Did this help me in any conceivable way? Most movements right now are just gonna get me destroyed. Kind of what I wanted to do, but also not. Mm. I don't think this is going to be enough to get me out of here if I manage to convince him to go for that. I'm not going to be able to, though, huh? No, I'm just going to stuck myself even worse now. Mm, 
No, I'm dead. Alright, what can be done to rectify this? This is a bit of a point of no return. Either way, I, I've got a scarper. So far, so logical. The question is, how do I turn this whole situation around? I'll keep that glass rather than breaking it. It could be useful. Maybe. Maybe. I want to steal your glass there. And have you in such a situation where you are suspended on this thing and no longer causing me grief. If I place this here, no. What I should do is place it from the side. There we go. Get you off my back. And now I should be able to zigzag my way to glory. He says. Uh, can he? Yeah, of course. Easy money. Now, I'm willing to bo bet my bottom dollar there's a secret on his starting location. Okay, well, good thing I was only willing and not actually doing it. I would have put a secret there. Learning the ways of this game's platforming, I see. Yeah, but the the secret blocks. I need to figure out the magic. How do you know when there's a secret block? Curiously, Yaga, how long did you spend on this game? I'm quite blind to the length of this game. If I release you, it's a bit of a point of no return. I wish I could get my hands on you, so I will. But then where do I put you? I have little choice but to run in through here, so I go left, down, down, left, up, right, place. That opens a lot of doors for me. Oh, dearie me. Whew, too close. Too close for comfort. Oh. Bother. Right, let's... Let's not have that be a problem. Is this going to be a problem? No, because I'm holding a block and I can make the fool charge me like so. This could be a problem, though. Mm. What if I do that? Whew, alright. Secret get, exit get. Didn't cost me a thing. Mm. According to Steam, it's a 65 hour game! Whoa! Oh, right, no, according to your Steam. Yeah, but you, uh, I think you said you went full 100% on it. I'm usually satisfied by the credits rolling. Although, like I said, I think this game is still withholding quite a lot from me. There are only two stable blocks in this whole area. Two is not enough to platform my way to glory. But what if it were? Uh, they're gonna break a whole lot. I don't want to aggro both of them too quickly, they're gonna break everything in sight. 
So I think my goal is left, 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 grab, grab. Grab the wrong thing there. I wanted to grab the glass that was right to my left, but instead I can grab you. This achieves little though, but little isn't nothing. Also, the the chest here will now block the other Minotaur's vision. So left, up, up, right, right place. I want to grab that block though. I don't see an option to do so. Can't see a way of grabbing the block that I'm on. I think I just have to ging for it. Fortunately, I can do such a thing. You get stuck there. I'm going to have the Minotaur break that. And then I'm going to live in regret because now I can't get out of here. I didn't consider that he would still be alive there. Blump. Okay. That feels like it was very close. Now to do what I should have done, which was grab that piece of glass. And now... That's okay. He takes a moment to understand where you are and then I can move on. Whew. Yeah, where was the secret block there? Where's the secret block here? I need to take you over here, but how when I've gone and blocked... Wait a second, what have I done here? You go somewhere more useful like... Uh, oh, hmm. I don't think I can place you anywhere else, can I? It's there or bust, huh? Okay then, take the most unassuming block that I can, shove it over here, and let's get our Minotaur buddy on a rampage. Does he get blocked by the stairs? Surely not. No, but if I don't trap you somewhere... Hmm. Yeah, if I don't trap you down here, then I'm in hot water. There we go. Not 100%, I suppose, but I have all the knowledge needed to do it. If I were so inclined to get the remaining things. Oh, goodness. Could be longer than all the other long plays we've had together in the past four. What was that? Lemmings, Gun, Dungeon Munchies, and... Spare me, I can't remember the other one. And that was Lemmings 1 and 2. No sense picking up and moving things, there's no way to put them down, which complicates matters a little bit, but only a little bit. I want you all the way down here, that way I can not grab that in time, oops. to grab the block that I'm looking at right now. When it comes from upper... Wait, wait, I'm doing things the wrong way around. I need him over at the, the buttony one. Get over here. And now I only need him to hit that when I am stepping on it myself. That's not going to 
work. But this will work. Never overthink. Alright, Bullwinkle's there again. What do I do? He's going to break all of the everything if I perturb him. I certainly do not want to go down and over the treasure chest after moving him over to the right, because that will trap me. In fact, just going down here traps me. Moving over to the left kills me, which is equally as bad. Hmm. How can I make him not be where he is? I could make him go up a bit, but all the broken glass is going to complicate matters. Well, in the end, my choices are moved down from here, here, or here. Not here, actually. That would kill me. So what are these two? I'm going to do this. I'm going to regret doing this. Eh, maybe not. Mm, but maybe. Because now I can't get past here without dying. Okay then. What if I do this? That may have bought me some time. Could move left, right, place the stairways and move around a bit more. What that buys me, I have no idea. But I might be able to make a move down here. No, no, he still still moves away like that. Hmm. It does buy me this. Ring, ring the roses with you. Get the secret. Mm. I want the locust. I have no idea what good the locusts are other than extra lives. Maybe there's some kind of locust checker eventually, but is such a thing uh, even possible with a setup? This doesn't seem to help much, but what if it does somehow? Just get out of here. Right. Quick memory check. Gotta get that sweet lore, you know. There's our princess once again, I think. What are we achieving with all of these? Okay. Probably shouldn't grab the locust, I'll immediately die. My only option is to move down, because if I take, I'm also going to just be ruined, so I gotta go and kiss the bull. Let's get you out of my way and then consider what we can do from here. Mm, I think I want to grab.
grab some glass. What this achieves for me, I don't exactly know, but I should be able to grab the locust. I cannot grab the locust. Because first I'd have to turn up, then it moves, then I grab, then it kills. Oh, I think I royally messed this one up. Any second chances here? There would be if I could just grab one of the uh, bits that are in the way first, but that seems not possible. Two chests in a row missed out on, that can't be good. Uh-oh, that also doesn't seem good. Well, actually, huh. Less thinking, better thinking. Good grief, how many floors are in this? <laughs> 83 deep now. Oops. Don't you be causing me harm. He's gonna cause me harm. Actually, he is perfectly controlling that area now. I have misplayed this so badly. Do you really? No, no, no. Heavens, no. We have bitten off our piece, and now we must chew. I think I can just barely avoid you like so, but then you are still patrolling. In a very difficult to manage way. Somewhat have control. And then I lose control. Is that the first level to kill me twice? Surely not. How long to beat says a bit over 20 hours for the main story. That seems mad for a game like this. I can only assume that's the people on how long to beat and their very smooth brains in operation. Right, how about I just lure you over here? Ah, crumbs, right, I can't be doing that. However, I may have gotten myself Somewhere slightly better? No, I might have gotten myself slightly dead. Because now even if I take this route, off I trot. Three bugs, one level, not good. Alright, how about I- oh, crumbs, oh, that didn't work so well. How about I just make you go away, right? Just fewer problems are better problems here. Mm -hmm. Troublesome, but not uh, not inconceivable. I can take you. Take you, move you up there. Now I can kinda move. Hey, right, there we go. Simple as that. Now where's the secret? Is it you? Maybe not all levels have memories? But how do we know where the secrets are? 
Oh boy, lower jump. Is there a pattern to the number of floors needed to meet the birch tree? This is the 84th level. Would you like to take a rest? What if I say no for once, right? I don't like the game closing itself on me. Okay, well, come on, let's let's eat our slice of lower pie. Even if it means I have to go and relaunch the game. Why does it do this though? It's those damn fins. Well that's weird. It actually closed Steam as well. I had to relaunch Steam. Anomaly preview, Flesh Beasts, Flesh Heart, Pit Gate. Hmm. Hold on, is it Friday? I think I saw the Friday Factorio facts there. Can't be Friday already, that would make no sense. No, it's only Thursday.
All right, bring on the puzzles again, please, and hopefully bring back the good music. I think I have again made a mistake. Surely not. No, I mean, what mistake is there to even make? Just run to the exit. There we go. What am I to do with you? I think I need to push you right and then push you down with this thing, which means the statue needs to take a dive. Puzzle's suddenly getting a lot easier now. What could the meaning be? Easier, he says. Fortunately, too smart for this. Or am I? How can I place you down here? If I push you to the right, am I scuppered? I know I am from the left. I think actually what I need to grab is the stairway, not the not stairway. That way I can place you there. Unrelated, what's your favourite DS game? Oh, that's tough. The Nintendo DS has a huge catalogue and I played a lot of them. Probably Rune Factory 3, but I'd have to take a long, hard look at my DS catalogue. I was a big fan of Lost in Blue 2. Like most multi-number series, the second one's usually the best one. Because it's got some refinement to it without sucking all the soul out of the experience. Okay, what's a man to do here? I might see a path. Up, 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 left, 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 down, 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 right, down, right, right, right. And then start shoving this boulder where it needs to go. But I might deny myself my path back if I do that. What if I just go right, right down and start shoving the boulder? That might be the more cl Oh, right, that's the problem. And quite the problem it is. But I can grab this, shove you, and place that in its place. Just start cannibalizing the level to get my glorious solution. I don't think I need to push you here. I go right up, up, push it all the way, and then just make my glorious escape. Hell yes. Mm. King Louis looking at me again. There's another maggot thing. I haven't seen you in a while. I wonder if that can press the exit for me. cool here. Kind of. Mm, I can wish that I'd got some extra glass. I'm trying to think of a way to put glass where the maggot thing is going so you can keep moving back and forth on that switch and get me out of here. But nothing's coming. I 
There's an argument that says try something else entirely, so maybe I shall. I don't like this. Any approach leaves me stranded on glass. I'm not going to be able to approach this area again without breaking too much. Or can I? There might yet be one way. Just one. What about this glass that I'm holding on to right now? Might be better to take a block than a glass. I'm gonna ensure that I have the space for it. Okay, that gives me a few options. Not necessarily good options, but options. Actually, let's me grab that glass so that I can make a move, but not a good move. I'd rather have this piece that I'm standing on right now. Is such a thing even possible? There's you, of course. Opens options, maybe. Especially since now I don't need to come back here, I can start taking these blocks. Alright. Right. Uh, all right. Give me that. Mm, kind of have a square now, kind of. Can't believe that worked. Whew. I know, I know. It wasn't easy to see the solution there. But I got it sorted. Ah, okay, well that was a little too fast. I have to say, I find it a bit harder to read heavily stylized text like this than I'd like. There's not much to read, is there? HP07. Although, yeah, it could be hard to tell if that's a 7 or a 1, but thankfully there's a 1 next to my uh, Mantis counter. Not Mantis, the other thing. Locust. Locar is the Locust. What was that noise? It sounded like something descending stairs. Could I just make good my escape here? See you, losers. Who are you? Oh, lordy, don't run a- Oh! It's a person. You, please go away. This has become a problem. Now it is not. 
are they playing at? Do I push you up more or not? I feel like I might create problems for myself by doing that. I'm doing it anyway. Alright, there we go. I know I'm leaving chests behind, but I must give chase. Maybe you're hiding in one of these chests. Nada. Something very suspicious about this room. There's too much nothing here. Way too much nothing here. robbing all the chests! She's robbing all the chests! I don't trust you. How do I do away with you? Well, I wanted to just shove you down the hole, but it seems like that's not happening. Oh, you're horrible. Turn around on a dime or not? Good. Hello, Jake. What year is this game from? It's quite recent. You're gonna move out of the way, and then suddenly Bullwinkle's gonna come for me, right? Yep. Surmountable problem. You get out of here. Oh boy. Um. Glad this isn't on a real time timer. That would be most unfortunate for me. What about you? Why the, why the enemies not bother with you? Why would I? Why would I let you through? 
You must be in league with the bulls. I can't get down there, sadly. Done myself in. Gotta keep in mind not to corner myself with those things. And I've just gone and done it again. again. Okay, holy moly, what do I do with you guys? Mm -hmm. I'm to lure you up a bit. Okay, that seems a bit better. I can't believe how unsporting this person is. And that wasn't it. Ooh, it just feels like my youth and my Commodore 64. Chugging my way through my bugs here. What what happens when you run out? <laughs> Sent back 104 floors, maybe. Mm -hmm. Right, well, I have to go up and I can't go right, so left it is. I can't go left from here, so up it is. I can kill a bit of time by going down and back up. That's no loss there, but I have to go up here. Now comes the question. I get stuck if I go up, so I must go right. Must go right. I wouldn't get stuck if I go up and around, though. Not necessarily. There we go. Deduction. Bothers me greatly that you're not being attacked by the others. I actually have to get rid of the glass here, I think. Otherwise... You might get tr- Well, maybe not. Maybe I want you on this. Yeah, screw it. Oh, are you finally stuck? Be so helpful. Right, what am I trying to do here? I'm gonna have to trigger the bull thing. But I probably want to trap it up over here. And what about you? Probably the same thing. Here we go. I'd like to see Puzzle Master tackle fear and hunger, another Finnish phenomenon. Is that on the list somewhere? Let's get you out of the way first and foremost. Hang on a minute, what do I do here? I have to cross the glass in the bottom. There's no choice.
Okay. Can't touch one on the far left if it's labelled 1 to 4 from left to right. Can't touch number 1. If I push number 2 upwards, that doesn't leave me with any good options. If I move number 3 upwards, I can move 4 right off. Still leaves me locked in though. Alternatively, I take the glass path on the left. And I try and coax you out. Who does this help? Right, well I need you to see me so you can fall to your death if nothing else. Then I can move uh, loose. This could be a tragic mistake. be glorious victory. Whew. This was rough. Okay, this has last chase segment written all over it. Is too suspicious. All right, end of the road for you, isn't it? Unless you know how to use that thing. Hang on, is that just all of the locusts that I lost chasing you? Nah, I wouldn't say lucky. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now, Chumro, but I'm not seeing it. My only movements are left and right. Gotta be a solution here. I'm not buying that this can't be done. But what could I even do? There must be a way. Let's use every ounce of our brain cells here. I need every block that I can get on this line. Uh, but I don't think I can grab both of these, can I? Can I? Maybe by using the glass here I can. Because I can use the glass here to grab you, but then how would I use glass to grab you? I think I could. Gotta be away. Gotta save the cheeky woman. Ah, 
I mean, I'm, I'm all for murder hoboing my way through games and do it all the time, but when a game is looking at me like a cheeky school kid going, go on, go on, go on, right? There's, there's got to be a way around. I'm not going to play to your fiddle. That piece of glass on the bottom left has got to serve some greater purpose. Perhaps I should work my way towards it. But I'm also suspicious about the glass that's over there, and I kind of feel bad for not having grabbed it. Alright, let's, let's do our level best to think logically here. We've got a nice square going in the corner here. I can work my way up to give myself a square here. And now, honestly, what is stopping me from just going around the lassie? I've got my positioning. I didn't need the glass after all. I still kind of want to kill her, but... Uh... There. Calm down. She's become cautious. Can I, like, beat you up without killing you? There we go. Alright, what now? Is that a hand, or a writhing mass, or a medusa head, or what? Question is, what did it do? Nothing, you say. I don't buy that, but I can't touch you. Oh, well, would you look at that. Time for another break. Time for the game to close itself and shut down Steam and reboot my computer and install Windows 11 while it's at it. Dreaming is great. Yeah, <laughs> no, down goes the Why does it do that? What are they trying to achieve for that? Just the annoyance of me having to reach for my mouse and relaunch Steam, uh, relaunch the game. <laughs> Sometimes relaunch Steam. I mean, this game's a stealth argument for big picture, but I'm not buying that.
So nice to see a game doing retro uh, sound and visual so very right, whilst also being an enjoyable game while we're at it. That said, the music that was playing during that cutscene there, you think that could be rendered on a Game Boy? Maybe an engine would know. I certainly would not. Again, we're back to this level. There is a secret here for sure. A memorial with more Tetris pieces. I thought maybe that's making a design that I meant to make out of the floor here, but there's no way to make that design. Yeah, for example, position 1-4 isn't possible here, unless these walls are fake. Hmm. Absolute nay, says Ninja. Hmm. Something about this. Okay, okay. I feel like there's some kind of greater puzzle going on. Like something that's going to break the walls down and allow me out and about to solve some kind of greater puzzle beyond what the levels are. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but that is the feeling that I'm getting in my bones here. Oh god! Why have we not been able to talk to any of these other than Lizard Lady? Was the design that we saw on the previous floor something I meant to make here? No, certainly not, because Melting Flesh Lady here Blocking some of those tiles. Hmm. Oh lordy what? What do they do? You know what, you can keep your locust, I'm out of here. Are they just something deadly if you walk into them? We'll have to test it. Yes. Do not touch the Beholder. What's the Beholder's thing? I'm not big on mythology, so... Adaken. Oh, what the hell have I done? Get out of here. Oh, that cost me. I think I want to go down, right, and back up again, just to keep him locked in place. He's getting even more sinister, I do like it. Right, if I go down, right, and up... Then surely I can just repeat that pattern and all will be well. But there's you... However, I have a very, very cunning plan. It's maybe not as cunning as I thought. Should have grabbed a block. Maybe I could still activate Operation Cunning Plan. Maybe not. Damn it, I want that memory shard. Mm. Give me that memory shard. Well, 16 and 24, yeah, cranky, this game might be a whole lot bigger than I thought. Okay, a couple of grubs and the Eye of the Beholder here. The music is actually the only thing in the game not playing into the Game Boy style, apart from a few samples here and there. I don't know, Ninja, maybe people just need to try harder. This looks like a bother. I need to turn myself around here and grab either the glass or the block in such situations. 
block is always more powerful. Bummer. Maybe I just need to leg it after you. Uh, crumbs. If I move down now, you kill me. And I have no other option but to die. Seemed clever. What if I stole this and used it here? Ah, oh, done it again. Stop assuming I can just pass turns for the hell of it. Alright, well that's got me safe. But how do I know there's not some nefarious thing being hidden here? Mm, let's not push our luck. Already been burning through my locusts like crazy. 118 floors deep. This reminds me of playing Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. And I think I'm about 70 floors deep and I go, eh, it says there's a thousand floors, but there's no way that's going to make us go through all of 1,000 floors, right? You do, you go through all 1,000 floors. Some floors are multiple floors as well. Okay, this looks almost too obvious. What am I missing here? I can obviously just push the boulder onto the button and be gone, but what about these statues? Maybe I can crush the, the boulders with this. Yeah! What do you think of that? Probably nothing good. Eat it. Alright, got another delicious bug. You can probably be crushed with that. Yeah, there we go. You're too slow for me, game. Hmm. Three to destroy. How hard could it be? I want you up, you down. That lets me push you in here. And then we just go and squish, squish. Should have set it up for the one, two, three, but squish some more. And where's the secret block here? That secret block has left me so paranoid. I wish I'd never found it. Hope all this puzzling will get Jake ready for Nancy Drew to- oh god. Yeah, I need to prepare that tonight. If I recall. <sighs> Secret of Shadow Ranch is one of the old Nancy Drews. So, it runs like ass. In fact, it wasn't until... Ooh, was it Tomb of the Lost Queen that Nancy Drew actually started running quite nicely? You know, native windowed mode? Resolution settings? All those unthinkable things? Right, squishing you seems like a good idea, but there's more to this than that, isn't there? What's that block against the far right, though? Surely that cannot be moved. However you cut it, there needs to be some fine manipulation of boulder here. 
I, mean, I can push you to the right and down to squish one, but that seems foolhardy. I should push you right twice? No, I, I can't get the positioning to add anything like that. Same with you, I can push you once, but then guy in the center has all the luck. What if this right here is a trap? Get oh it was glass. Oh Hong Kong Fooey, that worked against me. How many Nancy Drews have you played by now? I don't know, why don't you check the list of every game I've ever played because I haven't kept track. But before I die, I intend on playing every single mainline Nancy Drew game there is. I don't care how long it takes. Well, by play I obviously mean stream. If it doesn't happen on stream, it didn't happen. It's also my secret to immortality. Because of that pact, I cannot die until they're all done. Okay, what? can be done with this. I'm not really sure it frees me up for much. Let's try this anyway. Get you out of my way. Yeah, if only Lord Frieza knew this little trick. Maybe, maybe there's something yet to be done by heading over here. Yeah, but then I still can't move up and down. You can, however, be pushed. I should have thought about this. Now that makes me look in that direction and then I can place it down. That gives me the mobility that I need. Because now I can start pushing you around. Just like that. Now what's your story? I bet you've got a secret under that block. I would bet my last gammy fiber in a casino on that. Oh wow, okay. I've never lost in a casino in my last gammy fiber before. In fact, I lovingly recall a time in a casino where I'd spent all my money and I'd lost all my money. But I reached into my back pocket and I found this horrible, awful looking five pound note. And with that five pound note, I won back all of my money and then a little bit extra for my troubles. I really enjoy gambling. And it's probably not an addiction or a dependency because I haven't been gambling in years now, at least not for money. Stockholm, or rather Sweden, is not very good for gambling. Gambling is, like alcohol, a state-run business. And like most things state-run in Sweden, it's pretty efficient, and it's pretty good, and it's not fun in any way. Okay, pretty sure I need to mulch you guys, but how do I do that? Such that I mulch the whole lot of you. I think it's down right... Oh, but how do I get onto you? I think it's this. There we go, that seems secure. Die, beholder scum. Give me my bug. Get the true Eastern European experience of really dodgy looking casinos. There's a casino in Budapest, but I didn't like the vibes, it felt a bit too grotty. I'm sure there are other casinos, but I... Uh, oh, crumbs, I didn't pay attention to Bulwark there. And that could have cost me big time. Probably did. At least I get this bug. Alright, one step at a time. Let's 
give ourselves options for moving him around. Can I shove this? Why did that not destroy everything? Maybe you need to die too, but can I even kill you? Can I shove a boulder in and take you out? I guess we're about to find out. Damn, we are swole. And here I thought it was just the beholder heads. Uh, okay. Does it? Okay, now one of these squares has got to be a secret square. How could it not? Look at it. No. 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 Oh, <laughs> this game's having a laugh now. I swear this game is holding some vile secrets from me. What about the empty one north of the stairs? Mm, I'll put the stairway on it, that didn't seem to cut the mustard. So, the exit is blocked by a destroy everything block. Can't go down, I'll be trapped. Why did I do that? Will wonders ever cease? You be gone. This is dangerous. Not insurmountable. Get out of here. And now you come here. Hang on. Something seemed very strange there. Why did that break? The guy hadn't died yet. seem to make much odds whether I take it left or right, but I'm going to go right because it gives me more options due to the glass. Donk. Do I regret my movements? Not yet. Maybe a little. If I shove you up there, I'm doomed, but I have no way of taking you down. Crumbs. <laughs> this game's made for people with paranoia, made to torture them. Far from it. Alright, so I reckon once I'd done it on the right, what I was meant to do was actually shove it down. Because then I can use this glass to move it over again. I was right to be thinking about the glass. Could have been more right, of course. And now we put an end to the beholder. Game's very generous with the extra lives. I am grateful. Alright, which of you are the secret blocks? Oh, you know, it kind of makes a heart shape. Kind of. Alright, what's going on now? I need to... Well, I don't need to kill everyone. I can just charge right down and be a-okay. I think that killing everyone here is folly. Unless I can get around you somehow. So left, da 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 mm, How do I avoid you in the first place? 
Steal the stairs. Oh, they kill each other. Well now, that's a marginal game changer. Alright, stairs, you stay pretty for me. Ooh, I'm making a mistake here for sure. If I race across, in what way am I not just scuppered? Maybe I should have brought a block with me. I can turn back now and ignore the bug, or I can try and puzzle this one out. See, I'm going to be charging forward, I go up, and then there's this thing that I can kick forward, and then I'm staring down two angry bugs with no way to crush them. But how would I crush them to begin with? Even if I brought a block with me, it wouldn't enable anything. Not that I can see, at least. You could always take the stairs with me. Not anymore, I can't. I think I'll have to admit defeat on that one. I do not like admitting defeat. Right, well what we've just learned here is that we can shove this thing out of the way and have these guys kill each other. There we go. But I don't want to destroy this just yet. I might need it to crush the grubs. the message here is that grubs can kill each other, but I doubt it. I think I've seen them... Oh. Okay. Huh. I thought I'd seen them bounce off of each other before, but maybe it's the snakes that do that. Where's the... Where's the secret hidden memory? Holder, snake, snake, smiling Louie, another grub. Obvious thing seems to be to kick this right on their face. And I very obviously need to preserve King Louie. not even make it likely that I can accidentally his entire face. But what about this, huh? I can't see a way of getting around here. I can't turn myself around or create a larger platform. What if I do just kill you with Louis? And how do I kill you? Wait a minute, I needed the grubs to run into each other. Aha, of course. Or maybe snake run into grub? Snake eats grub. No, he just bounces off. Hmm. Right. It's not a question of different things bouncing into each other. It is, in fact, a question of two enemies entering the same square at the same time. But of course. But 
now here's my same time conundrum. What do I do with you? Oh, just take the take the piece. Donk. Move it over here. And we score our coup de grass. Pump. Where's the secret? You two to kill each other this time. That's funny. What made it work last time? You're just straight up not moving, which is part of the problem here. Right, so you're moving, and you're moving into the same square. Bang! Right. We somewhat have it puzzled out, to a degree. Trust myself on this movement, I should create something different. This music feels so reminiscent of something that I struggled at. Whoops. I didn't intend to do that, but that was still a fun outcome. Right, go kill each other, please. Out of sync enough. Let me help you with that. It's a scary bang noise, makes me think I've gone and done myself in. Right, return of the glass, return of the licky bitey balls. Something daft about the one you're standing on up top. There might be a goodie for me there. Mistakes have already been made. Okay, that doesn't solve my problems, merely delays the inevitable, I'm sure. If I step down, I'm doomed. If I step up, I'm doomed. I am doomed. Alright, so I think stealing glass on the first move there is a poor choice. But moving right and then stealing seems like the very right choice. That puts you out of commission at least. Now fit. Thing. And do all need to die. That there's no compromise on. Reminds me a little bit of La Mulana. I'm not seeing it at all. Maybe oh, maybe you meant in the music. I'm still not seeing it. I didn't like La Mulana as a game. It was way too hardcore Metroidvania for me. But the music and visuals in that game were phenomenally good. Don't be fooled into going straight down, the glass will break, you can't go back up. Maybe what I should do is spend my time acquiring these white blocks. Easier said than done. But it can be done. Now what can I do with this? Here, yeah, what indeed. I think I 
have gone and scuppered myself yet again. Not necessarily. That kills you all right now. Now I'm still stuck with you. So yes, necessarily. Hmm. Definitely like that as an opener. But from here... for this one. I'm still coming up with Nout. Could I bring you down here? Then if I run over to the right, I will kill you. Briefly thinking about going down and left but I can't think of a way to do that. It doesn't get me eaten by the bottom bitey monster. So let's just put an end to you. No choice but to come along here. I am sordid to know that I cannot take this now. Step there, 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 there. Get out of here. Okay, do I have any way of grabbing that memory? Maybe. Maybe. Let's go for it. Maybe not. No, because what I need here are three blocks and I only have two... What was the solution to grab that memory? There's a lot of unused real estate on the bottom half of the screen. Could I have perhaps taken a route that let me grab anything there? Is there any salvation for me? seeing it. First memory we've skipped. Are we locked out of the true end now? Maybe. Oh boy, I don't like these puzzles. Alright, well, when in doubt, don't even think. Just do. gone. But I think these are hard locked in place now. Hang on, what are you meant to do if you're... Oh, right, I can always take these in soft lock. Ah, but hang on. Lest I forget, I have a way of disposing of them. Not going to save my bacon here. Might have been something worth considering, though. And game gets kind of hard to look at after a while. Visions feel like it's getting all blocky now. Hmm. I, I do not have the mental wherewithal to spy the solution to puzzles like these. There must be some kind of methodology to it. Do I know it though? I do not. I think the key is to not make a straight line of uh, impassibility. Mm. 
think if I push this up, I'm just repeating the same pattern as I did before. What else can I do? I don't know. push you and you, then suddenly this thing can be moved around, but I think that just causes me even more grief. Although what I could do is push you up, you over, and you here. There we go. Whew. Now which of these has the secret piece on it? I'm going to try three and then give up. One, two, three. And be a fourth. And a fifth. What have we here? Those two seem to... Oh, there we go. Oh, is that bad? They were on glass. So, yes. Yes, that was bad. Mm -hmm. Reminds you of digging for staircases in Harvest Moon. Well, then, there's a reference no one's going to get. Yes, I'm intimately familiar with mining in Harvest Moon. Right, I there is no way for me to do this anymore, so suicide is the painless answer. <sighs> okay, so what's the lesson here? GTFO? Or disrupt the Disrupt the snaky thing. Oh, okay. Well, something got disrupted. I forgot about the glass, naturally. Do I have a solution out of this? Not really, I'm just making more of these patterns here. Well, not necessarily. If I give myself a way to move up and around, I might still be able to shove this thing. Of course, you remain a problem for me. Yeah, you are still very much a problem for me. Uh, at this point, I would actually like to kill you. But if I kill you, I cannot proceed at all, right? Am I then just completely stumped here? Not necessarily. I've got to remember that this thing can be moved around. Easier if I give myself a place to put it. What does this even do for me though? Well, let's me do this. Alright, so if nothing else, I got that. But is am I satisfied with that? Do I have a way of getting the bug from here? I would have to be in a position to push the block whilst carrying a block, push the middle of the statue things, but this all depends on that damn snake thing not being there. And I don't think I can do that. Even if I trap the snake there. What I could actually do is shove this thing out of the way. You know what? If I keep you trapped there, there's no risk. 
The problem is now arisen here. Uh, how do I get that thing without this being a problem now? Hmm. I shouldn't have shoved that one. I should have shoved the one to the right. Because then I could have shoved it up twice and made my way to the bug. So now the answer is suicide or just get out. And I think I'm just getting out. Yeah, <laughs> steady now, Decoy. I finally beat uh, the true ending for Dragon's Dogma 2, so I shouldn't be up to 3 or 4 in the morning playing the game anymore. Shouldn't. Okay, I have just gone and given myself a whole load of problems. But potentially not too many problems. Perhaps precisely enough problems. Yeah, now I've got nothing to hold this down. Fooey. this in such a way that you are somewhat forced to press it. Maybe. I want to preserve you here. Don't want to grab that though, but I'll grab this. Put you there. Put that here. Have you just step on that, and down I go, go. Easy. It's this game's problem, it's too easy, but 135 levels deep, and no sign of it letting up. Yeah, maybe the 30 hours how long to beat wasn't joking around, 25 hours rushed, huh? Okay, maybe this is a don't stress yourself level. Yeah, say no to stress. Oh lordy. You really want me to kill all of these with one statue? How could that even be done? Okay. Well, I'm looking at the statue now. How about we don't do that and we just get out of here very much alive? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One, two, three, I'm deader than dead. Didn't pay attention to Bullwinkle at the top there. I think if I time it better I'll be okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, yeah. Give me space, snake. Hang on, hang on. Is this not very, very bad? If I shove you in here, I'm blocking my only means of getting out. Whew! Good thing I'm too smart. But I might have still blocked my only way out. What am I meant to do with you here? Actually, I could shove you over to the right. And then just shove you down a lot. And then... Have you fall for my masterful trap. Alright, alright. So far, so not bad. What about you? You're just gonna get in my way from there. Oh 
lure you up instead then. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, well back we go. We'll see if I can remember how I did all this. It was working so well until it wasn't. my great plan? Move it to the right first, I think. Okay. So, once more with Gusto. Kit. Okay, what was my plan here? I swear I had a plan. Oh right, it was guide you up here. And then get further out of my way, please. And allow me my victory. And my memory. Okay. Glass, glass, and more glass. But why even worry? does leave a man to wonder, is there some kind of true solution here? those stairs. I don't want to lose those. If all else fails, that's my way out of here. Ah. Okay. What happens if you run out of insect restarts? I do not know, Calmist. I'd like to think that I won't have to know, but that might be a bit of a pipe dream. So what's our kill everyone solution? They wouldn't make me do that unless there's some amazing secret to be had. Surely, right? They wouldn't be monsters, would they? Uh, any of these look like they are shining with magical secret memories? I, I would have been so much happier if I'd never found that one secret block. I might have to go and rewatch the VOD and see if there was anything indicative of that block having a memory shard in it. A feeling of accomplishment? N -n 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 no. Uh, I have absolutely no choice but to come along here. Couldn't even grab anything on the way. Do I have to do the same here? So to be clear, I have no choice but to go here, no choice but to go here. Are we just dancing our way across now? Not so sure I like that, I'm going to take you with me. Then the question is, do we go up or left? What is achieved with either, and what in the world is that above the... Um, you know what, maybe, just maybe. We don't need that timer. Starting to cover up valuable information. Yeah, oh wow, I did not see that block there. Glad I did that now. Hmm. Tricky choices. What do I achieve by doing either? I think I go left, because by going left I can grab this block and have a triple here, and, uh, oh, the actual secret of this level was do not kill everyone. Damn. Okay. 
Okay. So I, I must not kill that thing. Jeez, that's a tall order. I was thinking it was suspiciously easy to destroy. I had no choice but to go there. So now I guess I don't steal that piece of glass. But otherwise I do exactly the same. Actually, it's not exactly the same. I needed that glass to cross over where I was going. So actually what I do is I do this. Boom. Ah, croc. I had all the information I needed, but I did not apply it correctly. That was my last insect. Maybe we are going to find out what happens at zero. I truly have no way of stealing anything else here. Okay, how do I save the little slime ball thing? If I make too many moves where he can see me, he is gonna want a piece of me. Which means from here, I actually have to go up to the right? I'm not liking that. Alternative thought, we steal the button and make the lick a tongue go for it instead. So what do I do? I go up. Up. I need to steal a piece though. Which is not proving easy. However you cut it though, I have to move up here. But from here, I'd love to steal the bottom left white block, but that's not something I can do, because otherwise Lickitung buys it. So going left seems like a fool's errand. Meaning up has to do. However, what if I stole this block? Then I could move up. That kind of works. I'm not going to move on from here. I'm going to take the... Oh, bugger. Why did I do that? I should have taken the white block before I moved back to the left. And now, we're going to find out what happens when you have zero lives. You've fallen. You bet I've fallen. 130-something rooms into this game. Just steal the bottom non-glass terrain, if it were that so simple. First time here? Um, yes, actually. So we've been followed by Terranigma's Yomi. <laughs> Do you still wish to continue? Uh, but of course. What to do? No one can cheat death. But there's one trick you could try. Eat something here. Will I eat the fruit? Mmm, yeah, give me a give me a nibble of that. No true ending for us then, I guess. <laughs> that was good progress, I think, but boy. Turned your brain into Swiss cheese, this. You ate the whole fruit. It tastes so foreign. It's sweet, bitter. Probably should have peeled it. Oh, now we are void. We've become the Void Stranger. Oh, 
about that. And look, the memory shard is gone. Okay, I thought there might have been some creepy, subtle change to our memories. So now that we've become void, we remember nothing. Mm. Alright, what was it that I was doing here? I think I stole that, pushed you, went that. Grab that! That was a mistake that I made. I was meant to do this. I slightly regret my actions. Remember, I can't let Lickitung die. Uh, but I also can't let Lickitung eat me, so uh, I guess I'm just scuppered. I feel like I'm so close to the solution and yet just a little inkling too far away from it. Yeah, maybe not, because I can go here, grab that, and get out. Boo! Alright, who is this, or what is this? If I turn up, I'm going to kick you down the stairs, which you're probably not going to enjoy much. So, what I do is I step here and then go and talk to you. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Get out of here. Okay. Mistakes have once again been made. Ahaha, <laughs> but they remain kicked down the hole. Alright, perhaps what I need to do is free Louis here. How does that help me? I'm unconvinced that it does. But maybe, maybe, maybe what I could do... Oh damn, I thought I could tempt you down there, but perhaps not. The memory shard disappeared, yeah. We still have the four that we collected, but all the other memory shards have probably just been gotten rid of, so you probably need to run through the game without dying uh, good and proper. That sounds like a tall order. I mean, we've been at this for almost four hours. It's starting to feel like a long time. Do I want you dead, for reals? See, if I do kill you, I can't reasonably move Louie over here in a good way. Mm, but maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I cannot. Yeesh, well, even if I hadn't lost all my bugs in the last level, I'm certainly losing them here. Still going to Mago. Hmm. Can't think of a way to get these ghouls to kill each other. However, what if I made good my escape like this? And then simply killed myself and them at the same time. Okay, no, I die first. Probably not my worst idea, not my best either. Certainly have all the information, but how do we use it? Kicking the walls won't help. Do they even all need to die? Uh, 
I can't think of a way to get into here without deleting one of these blocks. And... What's the purpose of the grub, though? What does the grub achieve? I can't turn the thing around. any use for glass around here. Could be. Could also not be. I just have no idea how I'm meant to kill these two bull things. They don't want to charge into each other so good. I can't make a good escape here, or can I? Or can I? Why have I not been trying that? Seems almost like a no-brainer. Dang. Simplest solutions as often the best. Alright, let, let's take a much-needed rest. Is the rest going to be different now that we're voided? Probably still gonna close my game for me. Yep. Why? That is that is so daft. I think Undertale did it once. There was one bit towards the end that I remember the game closing itself on me. And they're like, oh okay. It was impressive because it's original. Oh, we're getting our proper memories, maybe.
All right, I'm gonna call it there for today because honestly, this game is turning my head into Swiss cheese. It does look good, but it's hard to stare at. Four hours of this and I can feel myself getting like television eyes, which is not something I normally, oh, crumbs. Not something I normally get. Maybe it's because of the very blocky visual style, the fact that it's all black and white and gray. But whew, 140 floors and it feels like I've just scratched the surface of this game. I don't really know what I've got myself in for. But hey, it's better than dungeon munchies. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, I'll be back with more of this game soon enough, but it won't be tomorrow because tomorrow it's time for some Nancy Drew. Hopefully this has been a nice warm-up for my puzzle-solving brain because we're going to have to solve the mighty puzzle of the giant faggot as we go and gather loads of sticks over at Shadow Ranch. It's pretty much the only thing I remember of the game. Whenever I try to decide on a Nancy Drew game, I try to think of which of the games do I not really remember all of the parts to. And Shadow Ranch, I mostly just remember sticks and rats. So that'll be our Good Friday themed game. I'll be back with that tomorrow. Until I am, though, is a cheers and a cheerio.